Hey, I just want to show everybody I am about to program a uh, PM400 or a CM200. It's all going to be the same, VHF, UHF by Motorola. What you're going to need is you're going to need to have commercial series CPS. Let's see if I can get that up here for y'all. Minus this here. So this should be your CPS, and I hope it's showing for everybody. So first thing you're going to do is you want to make sure your COM port's on the right COM port. So you can come here to make sure experts checked here under view. Uh, under preferences, you can select your serial port. All you do is go to read right here. It's going to read the radio. And then from there, let me make sure the screen's clear. I'm doing this kind of on the fly. All right, that'll work. I guess you can see that. Let me get rid of this here. Dell camera. There you go. Now you can see a little better. So that way everybody can see everything going on. So this tells you the serial number of everything that you, you know, the frequency range, the power range of the radio. I'm going to go through these settings real quick. Don't add a code plug password. 27 is actually pretty hot, uh, but we'll leave it at 27 for now. So your TX power low is here. Your TX power high is up here. All right. Um, as you can see on the screen, it should be showing up there. It's showing 148.1125. I'm going to get to that later. Um, going through here, we're going to go through accessories. Generally, don't play with anything in here if it's not messing up. Here's where your buttons are assigned. So you got four buttons on the front, as it shows right here. P1, 2, 3, and 4. So you got a short press and you got a long press on all of them. So usually what I do is I do memory channel 1. A short um, in memory channel 2 which I'm going to show you how to put a channel in um, you always want to be able to I do everything on a short press at minimum do it on a short press that way you know you want a high low power that's something that you generally always want to have um, and you can have add a scan list at it in there so you can have a scan, and you can also use the same button. I believe you can add a scan in here. Let's see if up here you can hit a scan. Anyway, we'll go in there. So scan list, I will just leave it there. So going on down, programmable menu. You want to hit turn on scan. You want to talk around. Enabled if you can. Timeout timer. Uh, I would leave that. At zero. Well, I guess you got it. So this is the amount of time before it starts transmitting. Um, so you generally want to keep it on the first second because if not, they're going to key up and not be able to talk. Uh, you want to have a scan list program. If you're doing di digital, you want to probably have call alert or any kind of system with Motorola. Uh, Scrouch, power level. This is adding all the stuff that's going to be available into the menu. You want them to be able to turn the tones off. Um, at least this particular customer, if you're programming for a big operation, it might be different. Um, so first thing I'm going to show you is a signaling system, which is right here, MDC system. So to set this up, we'll say this is going to be MDC system one, right? All right. So this is the number that's going to show up on theirs. So this can be anything that you want it to be. Well, GMRS, usually I put, you know, zero in their last three digits of their call sign. And when they have another radio, I'll put it as one. Um, you can leave group ID. Okay. Pre and post is going to be, sorry about these radios going off. Um, this is going to be the, the, the scrouch tone. So basically, it's going to send data, your your tone, pre and post means before you transmit, you're going to hear a chirp. And then after you unkey, it's going to send it again. If you want to be safe and not aggravate everybody, I do post. 
um, leave this stuff around. The problem with MDC is you want to make sure all the people on your system have the same stuff in there. So if you leave it generally with the default settings right here, it's going to stay the same. You want 1200 and 1800. 1200 is the old one. Um, and you're going to come down here. So after you have that in there, you're going to go see MDC system. We got all that in there. So then, under, see, not in there. Okay, so we're going to practice. So if you just put in a regular frequency in, which is what I was going to do here, you'll see this conventional personality, and it shows a name of 1481125. This, whatever shows up on this tree of fun right here, is going to be what shows up on that screen. So if we change this here, we right-click and we hit Rename, we can change this to Channel always do capitals. It looks better with the LCD screen, in my opinion. Channel 1. Or let's see. My, you limit it on the digits. We'll do channel 1. Alright. So, when you click that, now this is what's going to show up on the screen. Now, here's where you go into programming. So, you're going to click on this left side on a tree of fun where it says channel 1. You're going to click that right there. And go to channel one. So this is narrow band at 12.5. If you want to use GMRS, you're supposed to legally be at 20. Um, a lot of people do it at 25 because of older equipment, but it is uh, at the FCC regulation will do 25. Just scan list, just put list one for right now. Leave that alone. So data revert channel. This is meaning that basically for this, this tutorial, let's just keep it where it's at. Companion mode, I turn that off. I don't know what companion does, but all, ever all I do know is that it causes a lot of problems. Now, if you have a simplex, so the best example of talk around would be, and also going to home revert is say you're a policeman and you're using digital signals and you're directing traffic and you and your buddies down the street right and you flag flagging cars going through all of a sudden the grid goes down a missile hits the grid and all the radios the digital radios go down right so you wouldn't be able to transmit so what this does is it allows one frequency to be used to talk back and forth so that way when the grid goes down you can still go radio to radio on talk around. Also, it'll work with nodes too if you have one. So right here, you're going to enter and you receive, which this is a VHF radio. So you receive is here, and your transmit is over here. Okay, this right here, CSQ means there is no tone. See how everything grayed out down here? CSQ means nothing. You don't have any CT, CSS, or anything. If they say most things are going to be TPL. So TPL would be, okay, you enter your frequency in that you want. And then right here where it says TPL frequency hertz, this is where people call it PL. Say you got 114.8. See, I can go here, 114. Point eight. I'm going to turn these radios down. All right. So right here is your signaling system. So remember how we were talking about MDC? How um, it would send and receive? So you would put this on MDC system one if you just wanted to receive. On a transmit side, we'll go to, I'll tell you what, let's, let me show you something first. All right. So see this right here, how it is 148.1125. So generally on VHF, you're going to have a plus a point six hundred positive and negative. So so if you want, actually get rid of that. So if you wanted it to be positive, when I hit this, let's let's make this one four eight. 
zero 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 zero. Okay. So see over here. See how I put. Actually, it needs to be over here. So six hundred would be here. Six hundred. If I can get this to go right, six hundred. And see how when I click this, it now inputted plus six hundred. So if you're looking at ham guides, and usually that you know, and it says plus six, that's what you would put if you wanted to go negative. Hit negative, hit this copy. Look, it just dropped it down minus. It did all the math for you, and it copied all these settings down here. Now your MDC system on the receive is going to be here. If you want to receive, you have you know you want to receive the MDC call signs. And if you want to transmit MDC on this side, so this side's receives, this left side's receive, this side's transmit. This is your power. You can always change it later. The timeout timer, that's how long you're going to talk till it keys up. I always put it at 180 so you don't burn anybody's repeater up when you accidentally key up. All right. So now we're going to act like we're going to add a second channel. So see under conversity. See how under conventional personalities, you can either hi highlight it here or you can right click and hit add. You hit that, see how it add PRS1? This means that this would show up on the screen. So we want to rename, right click, rename, name that Chan channel 2. Okay. Then you click into it. Do the same thing you did before. So change that to channel two for your emergency revert. There's a button that does that. Do your stuff in here. Okay, now when you scan list down at the bottom on a tree of fun. So this is your actual scan list. So this is the two channels that we made. So when we go to scan, you have to take these two and you have to move them over. And that will be in your scan list. If you didn't want a channel in there, you take it out. And that's how you do it. Now, the priority one means that no matter what happens, if you put this Z here on the scan, that means when you key up, no matter what channel it's listening to, you're going to transmit on this channel. So you might not want to keep that on there. Um, as far as the phone, let's see. Let me see if there's anything else I can find on here for you. DC, and that should be about it. But like I said, um, another thing about this is um, constantly save. Like go here to File, Save As. You'll see I got this radio from eBay. Constantly save. So if you make a mistake, you can go back and fix stuff. So this right here is channel position. If you want channel 2 to move to channel 1, you just drag it here. Now where this is going to come to is, remember back here when we went up to... Um, what's the buttons? Remember how we did memory channel one, memory channel two under this program channel position? That's one, that's two. And there's one other thing I wanted to get to. This is just a basic one. If you need anything, hey, if y'all don't mind, please like, subscribe, share, drop me a, a line in the chat. Um, I can make other videos. If you have two radios, you can also click this button here named clone. So basically, if I had another radio just like this, I could just press this clone and it's going to come up with an error and it's going to say, are you sure you want to clone this radio? You hit yes and it will write the exact same radio. But after you write it, remember, so if my, my MDC call sign is 715, that means when it writes, it's going to put 715 in that person's MDC too. So that means if you do clone it, Remember to go back in here and change the MDC. Well, I hope you guys helped you guys, and I appreciate it if y'all could like and subscribe.